Hey guys, it's Di from V Mommy with Style, and today I'm outside getting the base done to make one of the Easter baskets that has been the most requested on all of the Princess Easter baskets. This is the aerial basket, so I'm going to show you more for the style of it and not the technique. If you need to know how to do the skirts and all of that, check out the links down below and I'll show the Rapunzel and Elsa baskets that show how to do the skirt. So today I'm just going to show the process of making the style of the aerial basket. It's going to be a little bit different because instead of a full skirt, she is going to have a tail coming off of her back. So I just got this basket at Hobby Lobby. I also picked up some purple spray paint because this basket was the last one that they had left and it was pink, which I didn't think would work so great for aerial. So I'm going to be spray painting this purple and letting it dry and then I'm going to be adding on the embellishments to make it an aerial basket. It has dried and it's a really nice purple color. I actually really just like this color just for the basket itself, but we're going to make this into an aerial inspired basket. I also have my shells which I painted the purple color as well. I'm going to use my tool and if you want to see this technique up close, I'm going to put the links down below to watch either the Rapunzel or the Elsa video. You can see how I do this a little bit slower and also up close. But what I'm going to be doing is using that same technique where I loop it and push it through all the way around, but this time I'm going to have much longer pieces because we're going to be doing aerial with a tail. So I want to have enough coming off the basket that I can actually drape it over the side and I'm going to be braiding the tool so that way I can make a tail. And then the pieces that are in the back are almost going to have to be twice the length because I'm actually going to take the tool, wrap it all the way under. So I have my tool all the way around and you can see that the links look a little bit crazy on this one but that was done on purpose. So here is my plan. This is going to be the front of my basket and what I'm wanting is a tail coming off this side and then I'm going to make fins, cut fins out of this fabric here and then it's going to be fins at the end. And any of the ones that are longer and wrap under I will. But then these that are a shorter length, what I'm going to do is just take them down to the bottom of the basket and then hot glue them around. So instead of having a floaty skirt, I'm going to make it look more like this is the bottom of Ariel and then this is going to be her tail coming over to the side and I'm going to just cut it off so that I can hot glue all of that down later. And then I'm going to leave the pieces that are longer and then they can wrap under and be part of my tail. So I'm just going to start braiding them over one at a time and it's kind of just like a French braid where you're taking more hair in and then just adding you know, additional hair. So I'm just going to braid this over and then I'm just going to start adding more of that tool in. And then these will be my pieces that go on top. And I want the fin going this way. And then I can always add in some tool underneath if the basket's showing. So I'm going to take this and just braid that over. So to make the fins of her tail, I just had this green felt that I found in like the scrap section at Hobby Lobby and I just cut it out two at a time and made it look like kind of like a fin, a leaf, however you want to look at the shape. And then if you do it double at the same time, then that can be her fin. So basically I can hot glue this and then that's going to be like her tail. And then I can also add in a couple pieces, like so here at the side where it is showing. I'm going to cut off some of these longer pieces actually and just reuse these. And then I can just hot glue these pieces down. So it's kind of almost like you're adding a little mini skirt in down here at the bottom. I also have red tulle. So what I thought would be fun, it's going to be a little bit different than the hair on the other ones, but I'm just going to loosely wrap it and then tack it down with the hot glue. And then I'm just going to leave some strands of the red hanging off on the sides. So it's just kind of a nod to Ariel's long hair. It doesn't have to be exact or anything. I just thought it would be a fun little accent. And so these pieces in the front, like the extra pieces, I just want these to kind of cover up the basket ever so slightly. So I'm just going to take a little piece of hot glue and put it down here. 
and try to tack down the tulle so it just covers up the purple a little bit. Then it's going to repeat this process all the way around and it doesn't have to be exact because you know the front is the part I'm going to be facing to the front on the food station and I'm actually going to be using this to place things inside so it's not like kids are going to be playing with it hopefully or anything like that and then if I have too long of a piece I can just cut it off underneath here. Then from here I'm going to take my fin that I cut out of the felt and I want it going this way so I'm just going to lay it on top of that tool just to lift it up off the table a little bit is why I left the tool underneath there. So I'm just going to take my glue and just put some on the bottom of the flannel. Then I'm going to take the hair and I'm going to put it outside the basket and I'm just going to lift it up slightly. That's the last thing that I'm tacking down just so it's where I want it to be. This has definitely been the most difficult basket I have tackled so far but I think it turned out cute and I think that the fin is definitely a great indicator that it is aerial and you can also tell by the shells and the red hair so the kids should hopefully think that this is really fun. So that is all for today. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.